Hi guys, welcome to the next episode of the Journey of Jim. This episode covers the week number nine wrap up of the Lyft Fitness Center competition. And today had good and bad elements. The good element was that it, well, it's starting to get colder here in Tennessee. So I decided to dig out my favorite old red coat with the hoodie and the pockets and real, it's really comfortable and it's really warm. When I started this journey back in March of this year, I wore that red coat to sign in to the last challenge that I was in, Obagon Fitness, 90 day challenge. I wore that to sign up and I, I couldn't even close it, much less zip it up. And I, I dug that out of storage today and now it's baggy on me. That's great. What's bad is not long after I discovered that the coat was now beyond fitting well, I get an email from my teammate uh, at the Lyft Fitness Center competition and she informs me that she's been off the wagon for a couple of weeks and just now starting to get back on. Which, honestly, I'm pissed. Okay? I mean, I, 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 I felt I've done nothing but help her. I, I, I said call me 24-7, phone, email, anytime you need me. I, I tried to set up some aqua therapy for her with a friend that teaches aqua therapy. I offered to give her a copy of the Obagon Fitness DVD. I, I told her what I was doing nutrition wise and it seems like it was excuse after excuse after excuse and you know she's an older lady and she's got a lot of problems you know she's got her everybody's got problems but she's got particularly interesting problems but so I'm not faulting that but my question is if you're going to spend thirty five dollars to get into a competition and you're just gonna just just treat it blase. You know, if it, she told me all about her problems, and if you weren't prepared to at least give it a good effort, why did you start? Why did you spend thirty-five dollars to get into a competition? And, and that's the lesson I want to pass on today. That if you're going to do something, if you're trying to make a positive change your career, weight loss, getting healthier, relationships, whatever it is. If you're not prepared to to give it at least a good effort, why do you start? You know? I, I see this a lot that I, I've got a lot of friends and people like that that are overweight and on on Facebook and they're saying well I, I I got this new smoothie recipe or I got this new biggest loser DVD or I got this new book or I got this new pill or I got this new this that and the other you're not gonna get a magical talisman and all of a sudden start losing weight it's not about getting the the hot DVD it's not about getting the cool shake the cool food the cool piece of workout gear making a change in your life for good has always been and will always be about perseverance and hard work so y'all just just wish me luck you know just it's it's highly doubtful in my mind that I'll win because it's the highest percentage of weight loss for a team of two At least I'll make a good showing. At least I'll make a good showing.
And if you heard that, that was a cat at the window. That's meowing to be let in. It's the neighbor's cat. Uh, so I should wrap this up. So yeah, just wish me luck, you know. And, and just pray for my teammate, too. I mean, I'm angry. I have to admit that, that I'm angry, but y'all just pray for her that even though she didn't give it seemingly any effort this time around, pray that she's able to eventually come to an epiphany of, you know, making the change. All right? Just and wish wish me luck too. Pray for me, you know? That even if I don't win this thing, I can still keep going on this journey and eventually reach my ultimate goal of 200 pounds 200 210 pounds so yeah everybody just the just take this moral with you that you know if for any good permanent positive change in your life you've got to give it the best you can so I'll see you next week for the finale weigh-in of the lift fitness center challenge so until then goodbye